We are definitely stopping here. Signposts. How awesome is this? So we are finally on the Yukon 4, heading to Ross River, which uh, by GPS is 350 kilometers, and the map at the gas station in the Dawson Creek says 370 something kilometers, which is roughly 200 plus miles. So. I should be okay on the gas because uh, if I have a good gas now I can do 200 on a tank and then I have a spare gallon so I should be good I'm gonna watch my speed you know I'm not gonna go crazy so I have a good uh, good consumption and there we go so there should be nothing for 370 kilometers I thought that this thing is gonna turn into a dirt road. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think there'll be much traffic at all on this. Uh, I bought a bear spray just in case I have to camp somewhere. Uh, yeah. Wish me luck. To chew the highway maintenance section. It looks like we are headed straight to rain. So I just put my rain pants on. Pack up the phone and everything. I'll have to put the cam GoPro away too soon. Well enough for sunny day hopefully it's just a local little cloud that will go away soon but. <clears throat> of course I didn't check the weather trying to maintain uh, 60 miles an hour speed so I have a good gas mileage. So far no wild, wildlife seen on this highway. But it feels very remote. It, it feels the most uh, isolated road I have been so far on ever. I ran into zero cars. about, I don't know, seven, no, 40, 40 miles so far. Okay, th this is the most isolated place I have ever been in. It feels, at least, it feels that way. It feels like middle of nowhere. Just this beautiful wilderness around. It's a um, kind of good feeling. I love this. Uh, solitude I wonder 
Did, did these trees burn down? It looks like it. Or, I don't know. I was flying a drone earlier, but mosquitoes were eating me alive. So, I had to cut it short and pack up and go because, whoo, mosquitoes are brutal up here. Somehow on fumes I made it to the Ross River. It was showing that uh, there's a zero fuel in the tank for like a uh, last last so many miles. But we made it. We don't have to use the spare spare fuel, so that's awesome. God, I love it here. This is so beautiful. So peaceful little town. I'm not sure you're gonna ride through back, but oh man, this is so nice. What a great lifestyle. No big city kind of stress this town is awesome I think it's uh, mostly Native Americans
camping. Oh yeah. Outside of uh, the Brass River camping, no bears so far. And then there was sun earlier, and it went away quickly because there is there's dark clouds coming. So I decided to pack quickly and just get out of here. Plan was to sit next to the river, sip on a coffee, and chill for a minute. The weather's coming. I wanted to pack before it started raining. One word. Okay, left the campsite by Ross River a few miles back. I figure I'll pop the camera in just for a couple of minutes to show you how it looks like here. From the Ross River, uh, there are sections of the traction. There you go. Uh, sections of the road are paved. Maybe like a short section, maybe half a mile or a mile. It's so weird. I don't know how they decide which section they're gonna pay. Either way, it's beautiful. Uh, 53 degrees. Not bad, it's not raining. Last night it rained on and off. Uh, it was pouring down actually at the times. So. No bears. It was quite tired, no sleep. Uh, thank God I brought, uh, took from one of my flights, uh, whatever it's called, the thing that you can put over your eyes. That didn't help me last night. I was able to sleep like throughout the night, the, the daylight all night kind of, you know, it's hard to sleep too bright. Oh yeah, yesterday uh, I bought a six pack of beer. I was so excited to have a beer. Uh, you know, after three, four days, four days riding, I was so excited. And stupid me, I didn't look what I grabbed because I don't know any of the Canadian beers, so I just figured I'll just grab something and just go with it. And stupid me, I grabbed freaking cider. God damn it! So I two of them and have to throw the four versus the four away somewhere. I'm going to stop in Faro, which is down of the Yukon 4, about 10 kilometers off. Just in case fill up my tank. I'm not sure how far it is uh, to our next gas station so I'm gonna fill up here. Better be safe than sorry. No matter what, this is quite a remote area, so better have more gas than less. Then not enough. So beautiful up here.
All right, fill up the tank in Infaro. It's one of those above the ground tanks where you just put your credit card, slide it through, and pump yourself. ABS is on. Why is ABS on? Oh, it's off. Let's turn it off anyways. That's the gas station right there. Very quaint town is Faro. Yeah, I think I came from this direction. Speed limits 30 kilometers an hour. And what that equals to, not sure. Um, maybe 15, 20, probably 20 miles an hour. Wow, that was cool. A eight wheeler, not four wheeler. I'm sure people really enjoy this short summer around here. Everybody's cutting grass, watering grass. I love it, I love this town. Faro, good job, cool town. But we're gonna stop at this uh, big truck right here. That's pretty cool. That's a big boy right there. <laughs> I need pictures of the bike too. Alright guys, later.